Hey there folks, how's it going? So something I do every summer is feed my fish live mosquito larvae and it's really easy to do. I'll go ahead and show you. All you really got to do is leave a bucket of water or some other container out in the sunlight and after a few days you'll have uh, uh, yummy delicious protein filled mosquito larvae for your fishies. This here is actually a kiddie pool I had set up for my daughter, and I just left it out for uh, about a week uh, in hopes of uh, getting some mosquito larvae, and there's actually quite a few in it. Um, after I collect some out of here, I'm going to dump it out. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up since it's a little easier to uh, collect and control the mosquito larvae. If you just left this um, up and running, you'd eventually get adult mosquitoes flying around your house, and that would not be a good thing. But you just take your uh, aquarium net here and go ahead and search for the little buggers. I don't know if you can see them swimming around or not, but they're definitely in there. Oh, yeah. And we got a ton of them over here on the side. So, you gotta do is take your net, scoop them up. There's a bunch of other, uh, there's a bunch of debris and twigs and crap. I'm leaving it out. But that's okay. The filter will clean that stuff out. Man, there are a lot of mosquitoes in here. Alright, that should be enough for now. I see them all in there, squirming around. Let me uh, take this thing out. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. All right. My 80 gallon planted tank. There's a mosquito larvae. We'll just dump it in there like that. And there you can see them all squirming down. They all tend to settle down towards the bottom. And that's where the fish pick them off at. The dwarf green pike cichlid really gets into it. Let me go ahead and shut this door to get rid of this glare. But yeah, it's really easy, uh, cheap food source. It, it's like fish crack. I mean, they go nuts over it. Here you can see them all down there squirming around. And like I said, all you got to do is uh, put a water source. I don't know, a five gallon bucket will work. Kitty pool will work, obviously. Leave it out in the sun. Uh, you could probably put some grass or a few leaves in it and give the mosquitoes something to land on. And after a few days, go ahead and uh, collect your larvae. You eventually want to dump it out because you don't want to risk mature mosquitoes coming and, and biting you. But the fish absolutely love it. Let me go ahead and turn the other light on here. You can see better. There we go. You see a bunch of them over there. Eventually they will all be picked off. Let's see who gets this one. I'm 
the Zebra Daniels, they go nuts over them. There's the Pike, he's still picking them off back there. See, I don't really see any in the back. Yeah, we definitely have some way back in there still. Yep, fish crack. They love it. They go nuts over it. Definitely a treat. Cheap, easy. I know a lot of folks um, will feed their fish live mosquito larvae when they're uh, when they have a certain species of fish they want to breed. It encourages that. And I think they enjoy it. I know it's not just like random floating flakes or even you know uh, dead thawed blood worms or brine shrimp that's just lazily floating through the water. These things are actually moving, and the fish hunt them out. And eat them. So I think they enjoy it. Got some twigs and stuff down here from the pool water. Ortala is starting to grow a little better back here. Oh yeah, something else that happened on my 80 gallon tank here, my uh, old fluval canister filter crapped out on me. Done. Kaput. So I had this old uh, Emperor hang on back filter uh, sitting underneath, so I got that going for it. Um, I got some new filter media that I just cut so I don't have the charcoal in the back. But that's just temporary until I buy a new canister filter. And of course I got uh, a power head. I got this from my brother-in-law. Because in planted tanks it's always good to have a lot of water movement. Plants seem to like it. It discourages algae growth. And I need to get a smaller one for my, uh, my 29 gallon. But as you can see, all the fish are doing good, healthy and happy. Eating their mosquito larvae. Have a good one, folks.